Hello from Hong Kong. I'm currently here in my hotel room and doing some backup from the shoot this evening. So it's one day before the super typhoon hits Hong Kong. So if you've seen the last videos, I already told you that we, are, we went here just one day ahead of the typhoon, which is coming up from the Philippines. So it's going to be a crazy night, I think. Hopefully not too bad. But this evening actually was quite calm and we had a wonderful sunset and went up to Bremer Hill and unfortunately we were a little bit late so there were many photographers at, as you can see in the footage and I talked to some of them they were there more than two hours before sunset so to secure the spot so if you ever are in Hong Kong want to shoot from Bremer Hill make sure to arrive early because it's a very crowded spot so I didn't have an ideal position for my photos, but yeah, I think I got some okay photos. So using the tele lens always works. And yeah, currently we have some food for tomorrow, some water. I'm currently doing backup here, as I said, and yeah, just looking out of the window. It still looks quite calm outside, but I think in four to five hours, it's gonna begin to get very windy. So. Yeah, let's see. I'll give you an update, but for now, yeah, I just have to save all my photos and yeah, prepare a bit. So the storm has passed and I'm currently walking around Hong Kong doing some scouting and I'm here at the famous Temple Street night market and on this side you have a big parking garage and I just checked it out because if you go up there, fourth or fifth floor, you have a nice view of the street of the night market and yeah, I did some scouting now to, to know exactly where to set up because in the evening when the night market is this looks quite nice and yeah, I hope to get a photo in the next days. So yeah, yesterday we were in the hotel the whole day. It was really bad outside, so really windy. But yeah, I think the area we were staying at didn't get too much of a storm. So there were just a few broken windows in our hotel. Otherwise, we were fine. Um, yeah, and now the weather isn't so good, but I can't complain really. So. I'll make the most of it and also I'm very excited because just half an hour ago I went to Canon Customer Care and I picked up a TSE 70mm lens which is excellent for architecture photography and yeah I rented it for two days so I'll do a lot of photography with it so this will enable me to get quite nice angles of the buildings without the tilting lines so yeah, I'm really excited for this and I'll also I'll show you the process of it. But yeah, now I'm doing some more scouting, walking around here and yeah, see what I can find and photograph the next days then.
So this evening I came to the famous junction here near Central Station. I'm sure you have seen photos of it. And yeah, it's a bit loud, so I hope you can understand me. So especially, especially for this view here, I wanted to have this tilt shift lens because if I shoot with a wide angle, I always have to tilt the lens, so point it upwards a bit to get everything in. And this uh, gives me the tilting lines in the photo. And to avoid this, I can use this tilt shift lens, which I can just point straight. And the nice thing is I have a horizontal frame now and yeah, using the shift mechanism, I can shift the lens up and by this get multiple frames, which I can later stitch as a panorama. And maybe I can show you in a little video with the, with the Canon, which I now film. And I can shift, or, yeah, shift the lens and so you see what happens. And yeah, one problem I'm facing here is that even with this uh, shift lens, I don't get the top of the building if I have my camera completely level. So when I want to shoot horizontal as I'm doing now to get in a more a wider view, um, I just cut off the top of the building. So I have my camera just slightly pointed upwards. But this doesn't give me too much of a tilting line and I can easily remedy this in post. So it's just a little bit and much less as I would be using a normal uh, right angle lens. So and now, yeah, what I'm doing, I'm just waiting for the blue hour to set in so I can give some, get some long exposures here with the uh, uh, cars moving by and then the sky also, it will turn blue, which will look much nicer as, uh, than this gray sky now. And yeah, now it's just waiting. So it's the last day here in Hong Kong and I just finished photographing from the famous peak here and yeah, it was a bit crowded so I didn't vlog it and yeah, also there were no clouds so just a little bit high clouds so the photos I get, I'm not sure how they'll turn out, I shot during blue hour so to get the city lights and yeah then through to sunrise and maybe i combine it so as i showed you in my time blending tutorial but yeah i'm not sure yet so let's first look at the view again so now the sun is out and it's also a bit hazy and yeah it was a nice morning to finish this trip and also yesterday evening i went to the parking garage which i showed you the one near the night market and yeah first I didn't get in there because there's some security and if you have your tripod open and they see it they say no no you cannot enter because they don't want this apparently but there are two entrances so I just went to the other one there were nobody so I could get in and take a photo and I think this turns out or turned out quite nicely and I'll show you also in a second together with the photos from this morning yeah, but for now I have to go back do some climbing here because of the typhoon there's a lot of stuff lying around here but yeah all in all it was a very nice trip also Vietnam really great great experience and yeah can't wait to get back really Hong Kong is such a nice city and I still have so much to explore and I certainly come back and hopefully then also do a little more hiking and yeah till then or till to the next block, block, whatever. See you.